Welcome everyone here from Shutdown Festival in Sventendorf in Austria. I'm here with Hardcore Graz. <laughs> Cheers, guys. And we're about to learn more about this collective from the second biggest city of Austria. So welcome, Paul. Well, welcome too. Uh, thank you for having us here. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, let's go. Wonderful. So first of all, I would like to know, how did you start the concept? What was the idea? How long ago did you start Hardcore Graz? Back in the days, like 10, 11 years ago, uh, Everyone was, of course, on Facebook online and stuff like that, starting their own promotion and stuff. Um, and after a while, I witnessed some, uh, yeah, haters comments, especially from Vienna, uh, with like comments like the, the dudes from Graz are trying to do hardcore as well. But hardcore was established in Vienna for the first time back in the 90s, way before my time. And I took it pretty personal and I said, you know what? Fuck yourself. I'm going to start something myself. And then everything started basically. Uh, with a t-shirt with the logo Hardcore Graz and it, it was just a, a big middle finger towards those hate, hating comments and now 10 years later we are now five people with a, I would say pretty similar mindset regarding the music itself the genre itself uh, we are like more the resistance uh, to the mainstream side of hardcore and hardstyle as well yeah, we're just trying to keep the underground vibes and the vibes from back in the days alive and not just join the mainstream flow. That's basically the, the main reason why we kind of act like a collective. There was never a big idea behind that and it kind of worked out over the years. Wonderful. So I've been to quite some of your events. You also bring bigger DJs to Austria, but would you like to introduce the rest of you? Uh, well, we know pretty much uh, each other for many, many years now. The first dude I've learned to know was actually uh, my bro Sonic Warfare. Um, when I started uh, visiting parties, he was one of the first national artists I witnessed and I immediately, immediately was in love with his style, how he plays and uh, like, I think it was in 2009 or something like that or 2010, I don't know, don't remember exactly. But from then on, we were like really, really good friends. And when I started my solo career, he was the very first one to be with me at all the clubs, at all the events and everything. And till this day, we are super, super close friends. Uh, next in line, we've got uh, my brother Artist. Um, he is basically the production and the graphic mastermind behind us. He's uh, pretty much the guy who learned me how to produce music. And he's our graphic designer for all the stuff. So all the logos you see, uh, all the flyers and videos and all the stuff you see on social media, the merchandise, he's the mastermind behind it. And uh, a super, super talented producer who actually shouldn't be with us here in Graz, but in international stages, if you ask me. Uh, yeah, let's move on. Uh, the next one is Mark Enigma. I also know him for years. He started visiting my own, my first own events uh, in Graz. And he always was one of those guys who not just visited, but always came to me and said, yeah, really cool party that you did. We're really, really thankful. Not just me, but my friends as well and stuff like that. And he was all the time super, super, super happy for the events that I did. And a few years ago, we were just sitting together and talking about, yeah, let's do some old school stuff events. And from then on, he started DJing as well. And uh, with our event series, Temple of Time, he was one of the, one of the guys who gave me the, the spark to inject uh, the idea of doing old school parties. And yeah, it's all your fault, bro. Thanks, man. <laughs> well, thank you, because yep. those are my favorite of your parties. <laughs> Let's fucking go, man. <laughs> uh, and last but not least, uh, Agonize, my good friend, actually from uh, Tirol, Austria, the other side of the country. Yeah, we actually became friends on social media, to be honest. Uh, back in the days, uh, even back then in Facebook, uh, we got in contact with each other. And from the very first second on, we had a very similar, pretty much the same mindset of the whole music, the scene not just in hard style, but even in hardcore as well and in other genres as well. We become super, super close friends. Uh, a few years back, he moved to Graz and he was DJing before that in, in Innsbruck and in other locations all around Tyrol. Yeah, of course, he's a family member of us. He's now for three or four years in Graz as well. And he's one of the major parts, especially for the old school stuff as well. 
but a super super good DJ and uh, will be a good 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 upcoming producer as well. Wonderful. Well, nice to get to meet you. <laughs> I've been to all your shows before, and if I was wearing a hat, I would pull it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You were talking about different genres already. So I've been to your old school parties, to raw parties, because every time you bring an international DJ, you adjust the music you're playing. And of course, you know, your tarot as well. But what is your favorite music to listen to? I'm listening to a lot of different music. Of course, uh, one of my main music to listen to personally is the hard and the hardcore uh, stuff, of course. Um, but I still prefer uh, even to hear some uh, 90s American rap music. It's like really, really nice. Like back in the days, the Agro Berlin era with a German hip hop was, was my thing as well. Back then when I was like 12, 13, it was pretty much the first time I got in contact with music it's, uh, itself that I was like, yeah, that's cool. Let, let me check out more of it and stuff like that. Uh, I'm also in the in the metal scene a little bit and, and uh, still enjoy a lot of Slipknot and Korn and everything. Basically, you can tell that I like hardcore versions of music itself. And I've always wasn't not very much into mainstream and charts music. And I always preferred like uh, more the undergroundish side of different genre of music, not just like every stuff you hear in the radio and like that. So keep it underground, keep it rough. So that's my, my cup of tea. Exactly. You mentioned other Die erste in zehn Jahren, die mit So you've been in the business for 10 years. You started a collective that really throws amazing events. Do you have any tips, some advice for new collectives that will start out um, producing music and also playing in clubs during their own events? Because Austria, as we all know, doesn't have too many hard style events and hardcore, but you really established yourselves. Starting from zero, today's pretty rough, I would say, because you need a lot of experience uh, to do the things we do. Uh, our first events, of course, were far from uh, successful. Even these days, we have events that are not that successful because, uh, because of we are not pushing the mainstream stuff. Yeah, we do, of course, uh, raw hardcore parties and well, as well. Um, but the artists we pick are not the artists, I would say, are at the top. Uh, of the of the charts to to say so um, for new collectives I would say uh, get together think about it th think about it multiple times before you start doing something um, talk about every aspect of the part you want to do uh, get in touch with the locations ask as much questions as possible to get all the information and do a proper calculation what you are expecting and what you are expecting uh, realistically because you can't say yeah let's do a party and there will be 200 300 400 a thousand people a thousand people but uh it never comes like you expect so uh before you burn your money think about it multiple times discuss it together and uh yeah just do your thing the thing with us is we've always been like a resistance, I would say, because our events have never been mainstream. So if you start doing your own thing because you like the music, because you like a certain style of music, um, just do it, I would say. But do it with your mind in the, in the right place. So don't overdo it. Uh, talk with you guys and uh, yeah, don't burn all your money, I would say. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Hardcore Graz. And I'm very much looking forward to your next events as well. Thank you guys very much. Thank See you, you soon.